And we begin this edition of Fine Print with some breaking news. Pakistan has once again provoked India along the line of control. Pakistani troops have violated ceasefire in Uri and Rajori sectors along the border. And the Indian army has retaliated in a punitive response to the unprovoked firing. At least three Pakistani army soldiers have been killed. In fact, the Pakistani army has tweeted names and pictures of its soldiers who have been killed. Intermittent firing is still underway as we speak. Meanwhile, the first flight from Srinagar will take off tonight, days after the centre abrogated Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir. The flight will take off with over 150 passengers on board. The Srinagar airport has now been cleared off for night flights. Remember, the valley has been under restrictions with communication lines snapped since the 5th of August. Jammu and Kashmir celebrated its first Independence Day after the abrogation of Article 370 and the formation of a union territory. Jammu and Kashmir's Governor Satipal Malik hoisted the national flag at the Shere Kashmir Stadium in Srinagar. After unfurling the flag, Malik also inspected the parade of paramilitary forces and Jammu and Kashmir police. Speaking at the stadium, Malik hailed the revocation of Article 370, calling it not only a historic step, but a step that will open new doors for the development of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. बल्कि जम्मू कश्मीर के लोगों और लद्दाख के लोगों के विकास के लिए एक नया दरवाजा खोला है। शेष हिस्सों के साथ समानता और एकता की भावना आई। इस मुद्दे पर मैं जम्मू और कश्मीर के लोगों को आश्वस्त करना चाहता हूं कि उनकी पहचान दांव पर नहीं है और नहीं इससे छेड़छाड़ की गई है। भारत का संविधान कई क्षेत्रीय पहचानों को पनपने Celebrations also witnessed at divisional, district and sub-district levels across Jammu and Kashmir. The security arrangements have been tightened in the state to ensure that no untoward incident takes place anywhere. Our correspondent Ishan Wani gets us this ground report. Right behind me, you can see this is the venue, this is the area which leads to the venue of the function here in Srinagar. Uh, the forces have erected barricades, uh, have laid the wires around the place. Uh, nobody is being allowed to move except for those who have been issued special passes uh, to not only cover this event but also who are attending them. There's a huge vigil being kept on the security of this particular venue basically in Srinagar uh, because there could be a threat by the militants on this particular venue. Uh, at the same time, if one sees uh, the entire area, Areas across Kashmir Valley have been sealed. Uh, it was hard to reach the venue because there are barricades placed at every nook and corner in the Srinagar city, uh, and that is why the forces are taking every precaution that's possible to avert any sort of incident that may arise because there is already tension in the valley following the center's decision to scrap the Article 370. With camera person Feroz Ishanwani for Beyond World is One.